Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday, August 9th, 2018. Now it's funny, it's got partially cloudy here, you can see. Now over here, the sun just got behind this nice big rain cloud. So let's hope that that's just something that's passing by. It looks like it is because it looks still clear behind it. But it's just like one little area that uh, has the rain cloud there. Okay, so I am going to jump right into today's video and uh, talk about something that is actually affecting pretty much the whole planet. Um, we're going to talk about crop failures. All right, There's a lot of crop failures happening around the globe. And uh, one of the things, and I'll talk about a couple of different things, but we're going to go over and talk about like over in Germany and stuff first. And they're looking at a six-year low as far as production from the crops this year and then you also have uh, like because of drought they're just it's been hot very hot very dry not enough rain and you look at france that is having too much rain and it's that's also been you know obviously very bad for the crops now you go to like here in the united states there's all kinds of places that are having issues as well obviously we have the forest fires going on in california right now so you know, and it's weird how, like, you know, certain places. Now, this morning, I was talking to uh, one of the local farmers. I was out and uh, actually mailing out a couple of coffee cups that had to be sent out. That uh, It's a long story. But uh, there was a couple coffee cups that were long overdue getting shipped out, and they got shipped out today. But while I was at the post office, I was talking to one of the local farmers, and I said to him, I go, well, how's your crops doing this year? You know, because I'm basically basing everything on like my garden, which has been freaking absolutely awesome this year. And he's like, oh man, he goes, not good. He goes, really, not good at all. And I'm like, really? And he was like, yeah. So even here in uh, in New York, you know, the farmers are having a, a hard time. They're having issues, and uh, it's it's been, you know, like I said, we've had some some dry weather but we've also had you know a decent amount of rain here too but for whatever reason whatever you know like that's just one local farmer like I said that I was talking to but there's issues all over the country uh, like Minnesota's having issues right now they're dealing with with drought and stuff like that and in the Midwest it's been real real super hot hotter than normal so there's been a lot of uh, high temperatures this year as far as that then not enough rain so what does it basically mean with, with what's going on? Well, basically, longer term, you're looking at prices of everything that you need or want going up, okay? So that is not a good thing. I mean, you know, I know most people are struggling, you know, day to day and week to week trying to survive. And then when you throw something like that in, you know, to the... Um, it's just it makes it that much more difficult if everything that you're trying to buy or that you need and the prices are going up which means there's going to be shortages around the world of different products that people want to have and need so you know how does that affect everybody you know well, like i said the bottom line is what are you going to do you're going to pay bills or you're going to eat you know and uh so obviously that affects you know everybody in 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 that aspect and if it became a huge issue if there was like major major things going on which there is quite a few major things going on around the world right now as far as like with the weather very very you know here's the thing is i'm 53 years old i've seen a lot you know through the years and stuff like that the weather the last couple of years i have never seen anything like the weather with the extremes the way it's just it's been so bizarre that it's unreal i mean i know like this summer We've had a much hotter than normal summer here in the Northeast. Like our area, I think I was telling you guys in another video, you know, we normally have six days a year over 90 degrees. And this year, I know that we're over 14 now for our area, which is, you know, way more than normal, obviously. Uh, we've had just some, it's just the weather's just been crazy. And uh, it's just... It, it, it affects things, it makes things, you know, like I said, for the farmers, the farmers are definitely having a much more difficult time. So it's like, one of the things, and I've talked about it over and over and over again, as far as with prepping goes, I always talk about food, and food being so important. You know, in the United States, for the most part, people don't have to deal with starvation. Now, there's people that, you know, 
have had, you know, that are starving and stuff like that even here. But for the most part, people are not starving. And there's enough people throwing away garbage and stuff like that, that people are basically, if they're that hungry that they would eat out of the garbage, there's plenty to eat in the garbage. And it sounds terrible, but it's true, okay? So, with that being said, what if now let's let's look at the situation if there if like say right now modern times and there's maybe, let's say there's 10 people starving and so they have to go and eat out of the garbage well there's you know thousands of people throwing out unbelievable amounts of food every day and it happens guys i mean there's a lot of waste especially in america a tremendous amount of waste when it comes to food okay so now let's say that things continue to get worse continue to have crop failures, they're not getting enough food to feed all these people. Now instead of 10 people looking for the scraps from the masses, now you have 1,000 or 2,000. So kind of like figure it that way. You're going to have a lot more people looking to try to get food any way that they possibly can. That's why one of the biggest things I say when I talk about prepping is having food. First of all, the prices of food are never going to go down. They're always going to go up. That's just, you know, like with anything else, it happens all the time. The prices of food are always rising. So to stock up on things now and have things on hand now while you can, that's the best way to do it. Now, I've talked about, you know, people will say, well, how do I do it? What, what should I have? And I've talked about this several times, too. You need to have different things to be able to survive as far as food goes it's the, be the best way to do it you have your your canned goods you have your dry beans and rice and and you know the staples that way beans and rice everybody talks about beans and rice freeze-dried foods if you have those you know what I mean um, you know looking for that long-term food storage now it, like I said and in yesterday's video I mentioned this as well with the freeze-dried food, the good thing about the freeze-dried food, you buy it, as long as you keep it in a cool, dark place, it's got a 25-year shelf life, and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about rotation. You don't have to worry about anything else like that. So that's kind of, you know, and I hate, to, and I don't really like to use the term, but the lazy, way, the lazy man's way of prepping. But for me, it's diversifying. It's important to have different aspects of prepping. But if you don't do anything else, if you're like, you know, oh, I'm just going to get some stuff and, and I don't want to worry about it, then freeze-dried is definitely the way to go. And like I said, you know, I, I deal with Legacy Foods and, uh, and the freeze-dried food company, and I sell it on my website. So it's like, for me, that's a great way of going as far as that goes because it's a freaking great product. But having canned goods is important. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, well, canned goods have the expiration date. Yeah, they have an expiration date, but it's not really an expiration date. It's a best by date. What happens after that date, as long as the can is not swollen or when you open it up it smells bad, that food is still good. All it is doing is losing nutritional value. So I've eaten cans of soup and stuff that were like six years past their best by date, and they were fine. You know, uh, I had a, one pouch that I had of tuna fish that was seven years past its expiration date. I'm like, oh my God, I better eat this. And I ate it and it was fine. So, you know, all those things, having a diversified thing, you know, um, like with your canned goods, you know, what should you have canned goods? You know, you should definitely have your fruits, your vegetables, your meats, if you can do it that way. You can have, you know, all kinds of different things. Canning is another great way to stock up on things, okay? Uh, buying things in bulk going and buying that flat of tomatoes and canning it up if you don't have a garden. Uh, you know, so canning is another great way of stocking up on your food storage. You know, buying in bulk is definitely the way to go. If you have an Amish store near you and you can go and buy, you know, your, your beans or your, uh, you know, wheat berries and those type of things, you know, that's a smart thing to do too. And then you vacuum seal it or use a mylar bag with an oxygen absorber you know put, store it in five gallon buckets or however you want to store it that's the way to do it starvation is a horrible horrible thing and if you haven't eaten and, and the thing is again people in america really can't relate guys okay and i'm just i'm not talking about the rest of the world i'm just going to talk about america we have not suffered here. We, we are not used to suffering here. We're used to having everything at our fingertips, everything there. So with the crop failures that are going on around the world, 
the prices are going to go up. Okay, so the best time to buy anything is right now because the thing is down the road it's only going to get worse and if they continue to have crop failures and things continue to get worse the price of everything is going to rise and it's going to go up higher okay so it's so important to be prepared and like I said if you have children if you're a mother out there if you're a father or a grandparent for me I could not sit there and say that I didn't do everything in my power to make sure that my kids could have something to eat I would feel like a total piece of garbage if I didn't do that, okay? So it's so, so important to think about these things. And this is what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to think about, I mean, what do you think about the fact that they're having such crop failures all around the world because of weather? You know, either too much rain or it's been too wet, or, you know, or it's like too dry because of the heat and stuff this year. It's been a very, very hot summer. It's, I know it's been super hot over in Europe, you know, and like I said, in, in the United States, it. I know for up here, for our area, it's been a very, very hot summer, okay? I know in the south here in the United States, you guys have been getting hammered, okay? So, um, you know, it's really, really important to try to be as prepared as, po as, as best that you possibly can be. Now, one of the things that I would definitely say that you need to definitely have if you're going to be prepared is seeds, okay? Having seeds, and if you can somehow do it, have a greenhouse of some sort, so then it's more controlled and you can control how much water or how much heat is being, you know, brought into that area. And so you, you, can have, you have more control over growing those plants. Um, like I said, I definitely want to do a greenhouse up here at the homestead, and that is definitely in the plans. Um, I don't know if, it, it don't, it's probably not going to happen this year, to be honest with you. If I can get the solar squared away and a chicken coop done this year, I'm going to consider that a win. Uh, those are the two things that I really want to focus on before the snow flies. So that's what I really want to focus on, okay? But like I said, preparation, being prepared, having diversified amount of food and different ways of having food. Like I said, canned goods, having your dry goods, having your freeze-dried foods, okay? All those things are really, really important. But also being able to grow your own crops is going to be huge as well, guys. Learn how to can. Learn how to do these things. You know, I mean, the things that are happening, it's kind of scary. To me it is anyway. I mean, I hope it's, you know, I hope people are really realizing what's going on around the world and how fragile things really truly are, uh, you know, as far as that goes. I mean, you, you really need to think about that, okay? So, anyway, I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback on this topic because I think it's really, really important. And people need to pay attention. I, you know, so many people walk around with the rose-colored glasses on. Well, if it doesn't affect me directly, I'm going to go like this and I'm not going to worry about it. Well, you really have to look at other things. It's not about being paranoid or being, uh, you know, fearful and scared and stuff like that. It's just being aware of what is going on and taking the proper steps to take care of your families. That's the bottom line, and it, it, to me that is huge. I mean, like I said, my family is everything to me, and they're the most important thing to me. So, you know, that's why I really, really stress that you need to be prepared, you need to be ready for anything, because anything could happen, and it could happen in the blink of an eye, which is really scary if you think about it. I mean, you know, and the thing is, realistically, as time goes on, the prices of everything are just going to continue to rise. If you look in the last five years how much the price of food has gone up, it is ridiculous. I mean, absolutely ridiculous to buy anything. The portion sizes that they're giving you are now smaller than they used to be. That's a fact. I mean, you see it with everything, that the portion sizes are smaller. And the price of those same items have gone up. They're not going down. They're never going to go down. So the best time to do anything is right now and continue to do it. Even if you can only do it a little bit at a time, guys, that's the way to do it, okay? So I definitely, like I said, i got to show you this here, too. There's Miss Soxie laying over there on her belly. But anyhow, um, that being said, guys, I want your feedback. I want to hear what you have to say. Um, I want to hear what you, what you think about this topic and what you think is going on and what you should be doing about it, okay? So... Please like, comment, share the video, you know, subscribe, the icon button's there, uh, you know, so if you want to see more of our stuff, and make sure you hit the bell so you get daily updates. Uh, we put up daily videos here at the homestead, and so I like to share all those things with you guys. Today with the sun out, it's it's about 3 in the afternoon, I think right now, maybe, oh, closer to 4, but we've already pulled in 6 kilowatt hours today, so it's been a nice day as far as that goes. And now here we go, I'm going to show you this here. That cloud has moved away, 
nothing but blue skies behind it. So it was like one cloud for a minute, and now it's jamming again. Uh, it's been a great day sun-wise. So we, like I said, I've already pulled in six kilowatt hours already. Uh, I'll probably easily pull in seven today altogether. So that's going well. I can't, I can't complain. I really can't. So anyway, guys, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember, STD, it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, guys, whatever you're trying to accomplish, it doesn't have to be prepping, it doesn't have to be living off-grid, it doesn't have to be food storage. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, if you work at things methodically, you will reach your goals. And that's what it's all about, you know what I mean? That is absolutely what it's all about. Stay away from negative people, don't let people bring you down. That's also real important. Surround yourself with like-minded, positive people. And you're going to get there, okay? So, again, um, down in the link below, or down in the comments, or, or not comment, but the, the description will be my link to my website. If you're interested, if you want to get the freeze-dried food, that's where you can get it with Legacy. You just click on there, you'll see the, the Legacy Foods. Click on that, and it's all right there. Uh, like I said, there's no bad time to do it, you know? And like I said, time is short, guys. I mean, with continued crop failures, the scary, scary thing, okay? I will talk to you all tomorrow. I hope everybody has a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.